I'm John Shurek in Austell, which exactly 10 years ago was inundated along with much of Metro Atlanta. September 20th, 2009, the beginning of what the National Weather Service now calls historic, catastrophic, disastrous flash flooding. Too much rain, too fast. 10 people killed. Tens of thousands of homes, businesses, an entire school underwater. Rebuilding was slow. Scars remain. Memories of all who were here then flooding back about communities coming together, helping each other survive the floods of 2009. Sentencing day. The son of the Carrollton police chief, Joshua Richards, will be spending at least 25 years behind bars for killing his three-year-old stepson. Prosecutors say Richards beat the toddler with a belt last year. The child airlifted to the hospital with multiple skull fractures. Richards sentenced to 50 years but could be eligible for parole after 25. I'm Craig Boswell in Washington. A bombshell report has sparked a fiery standoff between administration and House Democrats. It surrounds an explosive whistleblower complaint filed by someone inside the Trump administration about a phone call between the president and a foreign leader, according to the Washington Post, and about a promise the president made to that unnamed leader. House Democrats are demanding to see the complaint. The director of national intelligence is refusing to turn it over.